If you're new to this channel, you may consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you continue to receive the updates. Also, after watching this video, you may want to refer to some of the playlists that we have created for people who are interested in in-depth knowledge. These are the videos in the right sequence which will give you thorough knowledge of the subject. Please share it with all others who might benefit. Let's get started. So now we'll be talking about the word cloud. What is a word cloud? So word cloud is basically a visual representation of text data where the words are displayed in varying sizes with more frequently occurring words appearing larger. It kind of gives a distinction that for a given text, if a word becomes more popularly used, it will attain a larger font size. It's a popular technique for quickly identifying the most significant terms within a large corpus of text. In the context of natural language processing, word clouds can provide a high level overview, set of documents, or a specific context. So let's say people often go to banks and they do multiple transactions at the bank or any other place, any other business for that matter. Most of the times, the businesses which are very organized, they have some kind of a customer relationship management tool where they try to capture what these people are contacting us for, what are the primary reasons. It could be just a telecom or internet complaint, but there would always be a log made for each of the complaints that's registered. If the business wants to analyze which area is it that they want to focus on more? So for example, when we talk about a bank, are most of the people calling to dispute some kind of charges? And if that's the case, then that's what their key focus would be. So if you have some kind of text available and you want to see what is repeated more, it's kind of an equivalent of a count plot or anything to do with the counts in case of a machine learning data, because it's just highlighting what's repeated more. It's kind of based on mode as a central tendency you can imagine. And here is how it generally looks like. So if you look at a specific text and you want to convert it to a word cloud, you don't have to worry about its position, but what matters is the font size. If, if there are words which are more frequently used, they'll attain a larger font size. Let's see what are the steps involved in word cloud. First would be you need to do text pre-processing because if you don't really clean the text properly, you would often see the words the, a, and, these are the kind of articles as well as conjunctions which will take up most of the space because these will be used in almost every other sentence. So you need to clean the text before you perform the word cloud. You also need to perform stemming or lemmatization beforehand because you don't want to see representation of the same word in multiple forms. Particularly stemming would be very helpful in this case. But again, do you want to go very aggressive that you end up getting certain word forms which are not even dictionary forms? Probably you want to be careful about it. That's where the choice of stemmer again might matter. And of course, once the text is cleaned, it internally would calculate the frequency of each occurrence and would accordingly assign it a font size. And then the word cloud generator takes the word frequencies and visually represents them. We've discussed the size of each word in the word cloud is proportional to its frequency. Words that appear more frequently will be larger and more prominent, making them stand out in the visualization. And of course, finally, you get a word cloud visualization. You can do some amount of customizations. We'll show you in the hands-on piece. You can decide the background color and things like that. And you can also give certain options, whether you want to see the words which often co-occur together or, or you want to have them separated. And of course, important piece is once it is done, how do you want to interpret it? So you may want to have some takeaways at a high level. What is it that people are contacting us for? What is it that we need to focus on more? And word clouds primarily are exploratory data analysis tools. So these would not be very insightful, but they'll just give you an idea at a high level as to what the text is all about. Next, we'll talk about the count vectorizer.